VIPs will be invited to hear this announcement from the Tibers. We will conquer Parody Island within the next year. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 4, Episode 2 of Attack on Titan, Midnight Train. We had quite the opener to Season 4 yesterday. Yeah. I am so excited to see what happens and how this kind of integrates into everything we already know because I don't quite see it yet, but I can see the vision. I can tell that there's going to be something very cool. Yeah, I say we go ahead and jump in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for more Season 4 moving forward. We release episodes every Thursday. Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but if you can't wait and want to see several episodes ahead, check out the Patreon linked in the description below, where we post the extended, uncut, ad-free versions of a bunch of episodes ahead, including these ones. Also, comment down below which anime you want to see next. We've narrowed it down to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Death Note are yes. really the two we're deciding between, so comment down below which one of those you'd want to see. I think that's about it. Are we excited for Season 4, Episode 2 of Attack on Titan? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. We wasted four years squabbling over some peninsula's sovereignty, and in the end, our two main battle titans were nearly shredded by the guns of the enemy fleet. The weapons of mankind have at last grown strong enough to sunder Marley's armor. Headlines the world over. Hold up this battle as proof of our weakness. So we can't truly call it a victory for our nation, now can we? Well, speak. What do you make of this, McGath? Frankly, General, we knew this day would come and it has. The power of the Titans has been surpassed. Our time's run out. We've been content to rely on the power of the Titans as we expand our colonial holdings. It bothers me so much that the Marlians, who are so anti-Titan to the degree that they're like keeping them in camps and shipping them off to a separate island and torturing them, are using them as weapons? I was going to that ask. They literally just are doing what they hate. Literally, literally. Like, do they not see how fucked up that it like the like they irony dropped, they dropped titans on their enemy they and they're like they're created. devils because they're titans that we're turning them into what meanwhile countries that lack titans to rely on developed weapons to oppose them and now our complacency is about to bite us in the ass when it comes to ground engagements now our titan forces should reign supreme for a while yet that said if aircraft keep advancing at this rate they will Burn. soon make bombs rain from the sky. And when that time comes, Titans, the devils of the earth, will only be able to look up so and watch. so stupid. More bird motif. So they're afraid of aircraft advancement. We don't have any mm -hmm. Titans with wings, do we? Please, General. What I'm saying is that we can no longer the depend Titans, on- The Titans, yes. As a result, our global military dominance will soon falter. Or we've lost our grip on it already. It's funny, we've gone from the nation of heroes who crushed the Eldian devils to whatever the hell we are now. Like, Begging the pardon, same General. thing. If you There's forgive Zeke. my boldness, I have some right. thoughts on this. Ah, Zeke, the boy wonder. Go right ahead. It's time we resumed the parody operation so that we can take control of the founding titan. Oh, it's boy. just as Commander McGath was saying, we must adapt. Marley will need to modernize her military starting now. However, the world will not stand by and wait for her to do it. Reforming the army will take time, and the best way to buy that time is by giving the newspapers of the world a new headline to publish, something like this. Marley defeats the Devils of Parody and seizes the power of all nine Titans. Hmm. Forgive the reminder, but won't your turn be up in a year? Yes. Your turn? And I'm quite anxious about whether or not Colt can inherit the full power of the Beast Titan. <laughs> ah, I get it. You wish to use your last year to redeem yourself. You don't want to die with unfinished business, is that it? You understand me completely. My father, Grisha Jaeger, set something great and terrible in motion on that island. And as his former son, I would like to be the end of it. His former son? Yep. 
So he wants to continue the parody operation. Mm-hmm. So get the founding title. So he's going after Aaron. Yep. Yikes. Season four, episode two, Midnight Train. Here we go. Ooh. But also, Zeke has more of a say at the table. Sorry for insulting area. your mm-hmm. competence to further my agenda, Colt. No, I'm glad you did. Seeing all those officers listening to an Eldian was amazing. Mm-hmm. And you're right. There hasn't been a beast like you in history. Your beast is like a second founding titan. What makes you so special, Zeke? It's not like you have royal blood in your veins. <laughs> Who can well, say? Well, chances are I'll be dead before we can figure it out. Oh, but since you'll inherit the beast from me, you'll see my memories and learn my secret. Your secret? About what? The way I wipe my ass, it's real special. <laughs> Hope you don't tell anyone. Too late. I want a full report. Uh, Commander! You tell me everything, down to the number of hairs on your ass. Do you think Eldians deserve privacy? Certainly not, sir. Mm. Really so, just you believe so you can conquer way. parody in a year? All that I can say for a fact is that I only have a year left to try, sir. In the past <laughs> three years, that island has swallowed up every survey ship we've sent to it. No survivors. Tell me. What do you make of that, Zeke? The last three years, no ships have come back. All right, so my guess is that it's gotta be a Titan. Either Armin or Aaron are like hanging out by the docks and anytime a ship comes, they destroy it. In the past three years, that island has swallowed up every survey ship we've sent to it, no survivors. Tell me, what do you make of that, Zeke? Considering the fact that none of those 32 ships have returned, I think it's clear that we're dealing with more than one Titan. My best guess is that Aaron coordinated with the Colossal or female, sinking our ships while blocking their escape. A fair assessment. Our ships won't be able to land on the island without heavy support. Right. And we do well to remember, it isn't just their Titans that pose a threat. <laughs> mm-hmm. Remember that? Yeah. Wait! Sounded like you were having an extra sweet dream. So I thought I'd let you enjoy it. You saved my life at Fort Slava. Thanks, Galliard. I owe you. Oh. Don't want your thanks. So this is the Jaw Titan. If I had inherited the Armored Titan nine years ago, then none of this would have happened. <sighs> my brother would still be alive. Because oh. he wouldn't have gotten eaten trying to protect you. So you've seen Marcel's brothers. Right. I it's haven't. Marcel. But I learned what I needed to from my predecessor, Emir. An ironically grand name for such a pitiful woman. She basically volunteered to give my brother's jaws back, right? Yeah, she did. My god. What so, did yeah. you even do on that island anyway? Stumble around finding people to save you? Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, I spoke too soon. Wow. Yeah. You've got to have a ton of I resentment towards them. I saw you through them. her memories. You acted like you were the tough, reliable type, not at all like yourself. Did you think you could fill my brother's shoes? Hawk, we shouldn't pick on people who've been hit by artillery. It's not my name, Peek. Stop it. How are you? It's been about two months since the last time I was human. Kind of forgot how the whole bipedal oh. thing works. By the way, Rhina, you ought to visit Gobby and the others. <laughs> They're worried about you. Right. We'll do. So, this is uh, the cart titan. I'm pooped. Wow. Feels like I haven't seen you in forever. Really? Even though we're always fighting side by side? Well... We shouldn't have to for a while. We can hope. Well, so they really don't want to do this. Yeah, but what do you think of the cart titan's human form? Definitely not what I was expecting. She's cute. Like <laughs> last season, you were like, "Oh, what an ugly titan!" I looked, I was like, "Is it ugly?" Oh, what it's is totally its face? Different. Shockingly ugly titan for such a attractive person. Everybody simps for the herb. I'm just sad for her mostly. Yeah. This way. Sure. Hey, yeah. If Titans become obsolete soon, what will that mean for us? If Eldians lose their use, then... I was 
talking to my neighbor. Mr. Mr. Brown will be fine. Yeah, I know. Because he pisses in it. Huh? Says he does it Look. All the time. Huh? They're enemy soldiers. Probably survivors of the pure Titan attack. And oh once boy. they get back home, they'll become living proof of how inhumane Titan warfare is. Every time this happens, it makes us Eldians look more like monsters. Good people of like, the world, yeah. let us wipe out the subjects of Emir. Shit! 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 Udo. Shit! Don't hit town property. <laughs> Raina! So, you're good to walk again? Yeah. What about all of you? Gabi? <laughs> Udo? I guess. Sophia? I'm all right. So he cares Elko? about them. Yep. Hello. Hey, did you hear? They're gonna take us all back to Liberio soon. Come on, we can explore town until then. Wait. We uh, never get chances Mr. like this. Mr. Brown's so let's healing. Get... He probably needs to get back to bed soon. I'm all right. Don't worry. Maybe you should go back to bed. No, I'm coming with you guys. Hey, wait. Wait, why is this cute? This place is only for lonely adults. Are you sure? Because I just saw him go in. Wait! Huh? The kids are yep. too young to go in there. What? What do you think of that scene with Reiner and all the kids? I mean, the fact that he cares and obviously cares so much for these kids who are going to potentially inherit this thing that I think he views as a curse is really interesting and yeah. kind of sad. But that was a really sweet scene. The whole thing is just so sad. Yeah. And he's giving them a 13 year death sentence and a terrible life, but he doesn't really have a choice in the matter and they want the honor of it so that they can get their family. God. Okay. How many of you witnessed the courage of our Eldian goddess here? She took on an armored train, and she did it alone in the place of 800 Eldian soldiers! <laughs> Are you? Your breath's on you. Come on, you big dummy, tell them why you did it! <laughs> Comrades, do you have any idea why this idiot risked her life to destroy that train? Alright, I'll say it then. She did it for all of you! To save your sorry Eldian asses from the enemy's bullets! <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's cold. I'll go I just shut him up. Yes. Let's look the other way. Like the baby horse. Give him this one night. So they're letting him party a little bit. <laughs> kind of cute, first right? Time I've seen her yeah. up there. I really wish they'd stop letting my brother drink. And <laughs> Gobby gets carried away too easily. That said, if she keeps on performing at the level she has been, she'll get the armor. I wonder how much of yeah. a say he has in it. The girl who looks up to you more than anyone will inherit your titan and will die at age 27. So sad. And that's if an artillery shell doesn't take her down first. Are you really okay with that? Did you just say what I think you did? How dare you claim that inheriting one of the nine is less than an honor? <laughs> if I choose to report mm. this, it'll be you and your family dropped out of an airship as titans next. Wait. Please don't do that. I'm so sorry. Allow me to correct myself. I, warrior candidate Falco Grice, wish to atone for my ancestors' crimes and for my wicked blood. Towards that end, I pledge my life to Marley. And what are your thoughts on the honor of inheriting one of the nine, warrior candidate? Inheriting one of the nine makes you an honorary Marley, and nothing would make me prouder than to be given such a chance to display my loyalty to the motherland. Then you must want to inherit the honor. Well, that was quite the switch. God, the brainwashing, the manipulation and propaganda just runs so deep. When they were like, hey, say your line. Yeah, like, and they just knew it. That's hard to watch. And they're just kids. Yep. And Reiner would report it. I mean, he said, should I choose to report it? But it seemed like a very real threat. And he seems angry, like genuinely angry. Well, it's because I can now analyze this. I think it's because Reiner, like his whole life, had the only reason why he's done what he's done is because he's like, as a warrior, as a warrior. Like mm -hmm. anytime he's had in trouble, he's like, okay, I made this choice. Like it better have been the right one. So when he questions it, it makes Reiner question whether his whole life was worth it. Gotcha. That makes sense. Gabby's just partying. 
I don't just want to inherit the armor. I have to. That's right. <laughs> Surpass Gabi to protect her. Spare her from the dark future he has a crush we face. On her. I'm sorry. All right. Asked you not to yell. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, well, I asked you not to drink so much, lightweight. <laughs> I don't understand who would give him wine in the first place. I thought he looked like he could use a nightcap. <laughs> Come on, Colt. How could you spew Peek's kindness all over the train like that? <laughs> I suppose we should have shut them up after all. Our comrades were chanting your name all night. Colt put them up to it. No worries. You deserved a healthy dose of praise. What you did really was impressive. Thanks a lot, Peek. Vice Chief Brown. Is he thinking the same thing as me? Does he want Eldians to be free from war too? If so, can I trust him? Oh no. There's all the people in the internment camps. All right. Take it easy. Enjoy your break. Not me. I'll get back to training tomorrow. What, are you trying to boost your grades? Ugh, will you give me a break? No, that's not what this is about. Hey, you two. Try not to push yourselves too hard. So they all have the red armbands. Ah, oh, Zeke. Grandpa. Grandma. Yeah. It's so good to see oh, you. Parents. We're so very proud of all your achievements. I'm not done. Not yet. Cold, uh, Falco. Cold. Uh, there they are. Mom, Dad. Gabi. Gabi. <laughs> Rhina. You must be exhausted. Let's get you home so you can rest. Hey, Mom. A little Mom. rest sounds good. Ma, I'll meet you all in a bit. Ugh, crying out loud. Don't you know how to stand anymore? Okay. Yeah, she's sad. Stay out of the way, you nosy brat. This is a sorry bunch of Eldians with mental trauma. It happens to our guys, too? It's from all that time digging on the front lines, surrounded by bombs and bullets. In their heads, these guys are still in the trenches. Kaboom! Oh! Ah, wow, guess their killer instincts kicked hey, in. Hey, it's all right. You're not in danger. Your armband's on the wrong side. It's okay, sir. I'm sure that you'll get better. It's over now. You don't have to fight anymore. The grenades landed exactly where I'd aimed them and blew the train right off its tracks! I'd actually pulled it off! But as I was running back to the trenches, the enemy shot a machine gun at me, and just as I was about to eat lead, uh, Mr. Gallier jumped in out of nowhere and protected me with his jaw tightening. That's amazing, Gubby! It sounds like a whole bunch of our soldiers owe their lives to your bravery. Our little girl has grown into an Eldian hero! <laughs> we couldn't be prouder of you, dear. <laughs> How does this not scare the shit out Rhino, of her parents? Do you think Gabi will become a warrior like you? Yeah. After what she pulled off at Fort Slava, she's all but guaranteed to inherit my armor. That's wonderful to hear. To think that our family will be blessed with two warriors, it's such a rare honor. I just hope you'll find a way to rid the world of those island devils. After that, our people will be able to live good lives. Say, Rhina, not to pry, but I hear you barely escaped from those devils with your life. Leave Rhina alone, Dad. Oh. His time on that island isn't some lighthearted war story. Those devils put him through hell. So even if it wasn't classified, there's no way that it's something he would want to talk about. You're right. Sorry, nephew. Forgive me. No, I can tell you some things. As you know, I infiltrated their military. As expected, they acted like devils. Each of them was savage and cruel. During our induction, one devil started eating a potato. When the instructor yelled at her, 
She told him without hesitation that she stole it because it looked good. She knew she'd crossed a line, so she bribed the instructor by offering him half the potato. However, the half she offered him was visibly smaller than her half. They don't even know what compromise means there. Each of them was more hopeless than the last. There was one guy so stupid he'd forget why he'd gone into the bathroom. An insincere jerk who only ever thought about himself. A soft-hearted oaf who only ever thought of others. A brave but single-minded fool and a bunch of chumps who followed his lead. Alongside all those different people stood me and my comrades. The time that we spent there was truly hell. Yeah. I said way too much. Why? What is the point of this? What do you mean by different people? They're bad people, right? Of course they are, Gabi. They're all devils, and they're holding this whole world by the throat. They could unleash their army of huge titans at any moment and crush us all beneath their feet. They aren't anything like you and me. We're good Eldians, and we have to stop them. We have to punish the wicked Eldians who abandoned us, who fled and built themselves a paradise on top of a mountain of corpses. Wow. What? Yeah. Everything okay, Gabby? Wait. You seem upset. But what do you think of what Reiner said? I mean, it's obvious that he's trying to, like, keep up this massive lie, but I feel like it, it went to an extent that wasn't necessary. The things he described, he called them devils and then described like very character flaws. Normal action. Right? Like this guy cared too much about other people. Oh, like <laughs> that's horrible. He sounds like the worst. Like, yeah. what? It, it's because they, they've they all been told they're devils and they built a paradise when in reality they're living through hell and yeah. they're good people. I can analyze this. Yeah. Yes. At this point, I think Reiner is just, he doesn't know who he is. He's I think just buying he is, in because he has to. I think he was a warrior who went and became a soldier, who then went back to being a warrior, who's now trying to be a normal citizen. I think he has like triple PTSD. Yeah. Plus being a titan, it's plus a horrible, plus you've been told you're going to die happening. in a year and be eaten by your niece. Like, it's <laughs> just, it's nuts, right? Yeah. No, that's horrible. You seem upset. You do know that Aunt Karina's worried about you, right? She says that you changed on the island, that her kid is... Gone. Well, I left as a 12 year old boy and came back a grown man. So she's not exactly Broke down the wall that young. It feels like you're lying. So. Lying? Why would I bother? Honestly, it's I really have no idea. to manipulate kids. I feel like Aunt Karina's worked it out. Mm. I heard it was a soldier. That's awful. Hey, good morning. Looks like all of us are here now. This is a rare occasion. Why are we all meeting in your office, Zeke? And where's the brass? They're not here in this room. Can we all just meet for some tea? Sure. All of the warriors. Then, mm -hmm. The Battle of Fort Slava made it clear the conventional weapons are advancing fast. They'll soon be stronger than Titans. That's bad news on two fronts. We'll lose our tactical value as Marley loses her strength. This threatens the whole Eldian race. And there is but one solution. Marley must seize the founding titan's power, as well as the resources of Paradis. Before that, the world must be reminded of the terrible threat that island poses to us all. And every good story needs a narrator. The Tiber family will provide one for us. Oh, okay. They're the keepers of the Warhammer. Is mm. that right? Yeah, but the Tibers have never once used the Warhammer Titan against the an enemy Warhammer state. The Warhammer Titan? They're known as the family yep. that drove off King Fritz in the Great Titan War. They aren't hated like most Eldians. If we speak through the Tibers, the world will hear us out. Astute as ever, Peek. You're They're exactly the most right. Liked Eldians. But okay. the Tibers have been living lives of luxury and freedom. They've never fought for their country or their people. Why should they get to play hero now? I know how you feel, but the Tibers are just as concerned about Marley as we are. Maybe, but they're- If it saves our motherland, Marley, that's enough for me. Our duty as warriors is to support the Tibers and to serve as scaffolding as a new Marley is built. Well said. Very soon a festival will take place here in Liberio. Foreign dignitaries and VIPs will be invited to hear this announcement from the Tibers. We will conquer Parody Island within the next year. 
The fates of the Eldian people and of Marley rest on this plan. We cannot let it fail. For the future of our motherland, Marley, we must join our hearts and minds as one. All right then. Galliard has a complaint or two, but he always follows orders in the end. If this so is all they're saying in private, I'm not concerned. I just wish Zeke hadn't thrown that comment in. Not here in this room, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I have to go back to that damn island. Ooh. So that is where we are left for this episode. I should have never been chosen. I should have died today. Why apologize? And why save someone like me? Just a kid. Yeah. This can't end with me doing nothing, knowing nothing. Before I die, I need to change something. First All thoughts. Right. I mean, they just keep building and building. Yep. So they have a year. That's like the timeline that's been set. Because Zeke will die in a year, and so and will Reiner. And so will Reiner. Wow, okay. Yeah, but they want to conquer parody again, and Reiner mm -hmm. might have to go back. That's going to be so triggering. It's super interesting seeing the perspective of the people that were these faceless villains for the first two seasons-ish, mm -hmm. and then not really understanding where they were coming from or why they were doing any of what they were doing, and now seeing it is just... Puts it all into a new yeah. new light, right? It's really... It, I feel like going through the show now, like I'm rethinking every episode and every major point I've seen, and it's just completely different. Every little moment. Like now, knowing that when the guy pushed Reiner out of the way, that was the brother of this guy yeah and knowing that that was the jaw titan like it's just mm -hmm. it's fascinating yeah make sure to like comment and subscribe down below if you enjoyed that episode and are excited for our next episode that's the door of hope that's uh episode three of season four and that's going to be coming this sunday 12 p.m eastern standard time if you can't wait and want to watch it right now along with a bunch of other episodes check out the patreon linked in the description below to see up to these episodes we have a lot to discuss but before we do that where are we headed all right let's go to the episode verdict All right, now we're going to go to questions given to us by our Patreon members. Join the Patreon at any level to start asking us these questions. For now, let's go to question one. Ashton asks, remembering how Grisha lived during his time in Marley and being reminded of those conditions with these new kids, do you sympathize for Reiner, Bertolt, and Annie knowing they were just kids the same age as Aaron who were manipulated? 100%. I feel so terrible for them and everything that they've been through, especially given the fact that they were kids and they had their families used against them. Their family is being utilized to manipulate a child it means that I really, I can't blame them for anything, like truly. Yeah, and it, it really makes you think you hated them. It just In transfers episodes, all already... of my hate to the Marlians. They have all of it right now. I think you're gonna enjoy season four. Well, um, good. But <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go to our next question. Tyler Harden asks, by guessing based off the name alone, what do you expect the Warhammer Titan to look like slash be able to do? The last Titan you haven't mm -hmm. seen, it's called the Warhammer Titan. The Warhammer Titan. I mean, this seems really straightforward, but like a like a hammer slinging thing? You know the- Hammer slinging thing. You know the, what's the, the sport? Uh, shot put. No, hammer, hammer not throw. shot put. Hammer throw, what? It's hammer. Hammer, hammer I'm doing like, this and you think shot put. Well, it uses the same ball and then on a chain. Thoughts on the Warhammer All right. Titan? I think it has something that I just need to stop doing. I think... <laughs> Job, it's buddy. getting late. I'm tired. I think it throws things. No other specific ideas. Maybe it has... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Maybe it hammers things. Maybe instead of hands, it has... Hammers? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to our last question. Okay, no, I need a second. Jenna the Bread Queen asks, During his family dinner, Reiner takes the humorous and innocent potato incident with Sasha and tells it in a way that makes it seem dark and evil. He described his former comrades in a similar fashion, describing their time as hell. Do you think he truly feels that way? I don't. I think he's completely convinced himself. The fact that he felt the need to so drastically misrepresent those instances and that was like the worst thing he could think of. Like he was like racking his brain and the worst thing he could think of was like offering a smaller portion of a potato that she yeah. admitted to stealing like i feel like that just proves how not terrible it was you yep. know and that's why his whole family was horrified they were like y you're describing them 
as not that bad. Yeah. Like, they weren't. Yeah, they're but, literally just like you. Yeah. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you enjoyed that episode and are excited for episode three, The Door of Hope, coming this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to go ahead and watch it now, along with a bunch of episodes past it, these episodes are already posted to the Patreon and they're extended, uncut, ad-free form. Join now to support our channel, have a creative uh, input on everything that we do as a channel, and ask us the questions we answered after every episode in addition to seeing those episodes. I think that's about it. Are we excited for season four, episode three of Attack on Titan? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go.